Let's have a quick review of what we've learned in chemistry. We are all very familiar with the periodic table, and on the periodic table, each element is represented by a grid like this one for carbon. This number here is the atomic number, which indicates how many protons there are in this atom. So one carbon-12 atom has six protons, and it also has six neutrons and six electrons. The mass of each proton or neutron is one amu, which is the unified atomic mass unit. But the mass of each electron is only about one two thousandth of a proton, essentially negligible. Therefore, the mass of one atom is only determined by the number of protons and neutrons it has. Since the atomic mass unit is very small, it is on the magnitude of 10 to the negative 24th power gram. Therefore, we want to know how many of them together make one gram. And that can be easily calculated. And this number, 6.02214129 times 10 to the 23rd power, is known as the Avogadro's number. And this many individuals together is known as one mole, just like 12 individuals together is known as one dozen. Therefore, the mass of one mole of either protons or neutrons is one gram. And it is made into a standard that the mass of one mole of carbon-12 atoms is exactly 12 grams. The quantity atomic weight or molecular weight is defined as the mass of one elementary entity. It could be one atom or one molecule or one ionic compound unit over one twelfth of the mass of one carbon-12 atom. Therefore, as you can see, this quantity is defined as a ratio. Therefore, it is relative mass. Another quantity, molar mass, is defined as the mass of a substance divided by number of moles there are. Therefore, molecular weight and molar mass do not have the same dimensions. Molecular weight is dimensionless, unitless. Molar mass, however, has the dimension of mass over amount. And the unit is normally gram per mole because expressed this way, molar mass and molecular weight have the same numerals, and therefore sometimes they can be used interchangeable. Many periodic tables list the atomic weights for each element. For example, the atomic weight for carbon is 12.01, and its molar mass is 12.01 gram per mole. For compounds, the molecular weight can be determined through the composition. For example, for carbon dioxide molecule, each molecule has one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. Therefore, its molecular weight can be calculated from the atomic weights of carbon and oxygen to be 44.01. For ionic compound calcium carbonate, its molecular weight can also be determined from the atomic weights of carbon, oxygen, and calcium. And their molar masses are 44.01 gram per mole and 109 gram per mole, respectively. As you can see, the molecular weights and the molar masses have the same numerals. And by the way, if you're wondering why the atomic weight for carbon is not exactly 12, and also why many atomic weights are not whole numbers, this is because of the existence of isotopes. For example, the naturally existing carbon element is made up of about 98.9% carbon-12 with 6 neutrons and 1.1% carbon-13 with 7 neutrons, and the listed atomic weight is an average number. Let's look at this example problem. If we have 250 grams of silicon dioxide, we need to determine first how many moles of silicon dioxide are there, second, how many moles of oxygen atoms are there, and third, the number of silicon dioxide molecules. So we look up these two elements from the periodic table, and we can calculate the molecular weight of silicon dioxide from the atomic weights of these two atoms. For each silicon dioxide molecule, there is one silicon atom and two oxygen atoms, and therefore the molar mass for silicon dioxide is 60.09 gram per mole.
And since molar mass is defined as mass over number of moles, from here we can calculate the number of moles of silicon dioxide to be 4.2 mole, and that answers the first part of this problem. And from the composition of the silicon dioxide molecule, for each silicon dioxide molecule, there are two oxygen atoms. Therefore, the number of moles of oxygen atoms is 8.4 mole. To determine the number of molecules in 250 gram silicon dioxide, we need to use this equality that 1 mole equals to Avogadro's number 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd power individuals. Therefore, we know that there are 4.2 mole of silicon dioxide. We can set up our unit conversion equation, cancel out the mole unit. Therefore, we get 2.5 times 10 to the 24th power silicon dioxide molecules.